This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for joining us. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. Cincinnati police were investigating a deadly shooting in Westwood last night at 10 here on Harrison Avenue. Investigators say 35 year old Jamar Higgs was shot in this parking lot at the Royal Century apartment complex and died at the scene. They say the gunman got away in a gray pickup truck. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers at 513-352-3040. We've learned the name of the driver killed in a crash last night in Northside. Investigators say Jordan Akel lost control of his car on Colrain Avenue and hit a utility pole. They got him to UC Medical Center where they say he died. Three other people inside the car were not seriously injured, they say. Live music is back at one of the Tri-State's favorite 4th of July events. The fun starts at 4 at Summit Park for Red, White and Blue Ash. Gavin DeGraw taking the stage at 815. They'll have 39 vendors and a beer garden at the event. Games and rides for the kids as well. Organizers say they'll have more parking this year. The big fireworks show starts at 10. Raven. I know a lot of folks will get out there early. Highs for today will be into the low 90s for us, staying on the clear side, but getting closer to the nighttime. We're talking about those clouds increasing for us, so partly to mostly cloudy tonight, but temperatures will be into the mid 80s, dropping to the upper 70s eventually for us. And then looking ahead to Tuesday and Wednesday are two warm days. So Tuesday, 94, but very likely will feel like we're 100 plus degrees. That heat continues for the next several days on out. We also do have a slight risk for seeing severe weather for Tuesday and for Wednesday. Most of those storms will happen in the afternoon hours, so that'll be something that we'll be watching. But for your 4th of July, things starting off sunny.